So you are welcome to the home of bananas. Uh, since the, banana this is a, a banana plantation. Uh, wha what we are going to do is to um, explain uh, the different uses of the banana plantation to be on the land here, the Dewe project. The, the, the crops you see all around, they are called <coughs> bananas. They are banana trees. Bananas are the staple of food for the people in this region, the central region, uh, Buganda. So the, the banana plant is this, this plant. These younger ones are called the suckers. Uh, you have to, to dig a hole when you want to, to, uh, to plant new suckers. You dig a hole. It can be one meter deep and one meter wide. And then you, you put in uh, 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 rubbish or cow dung or manure. Uh, each plant produces one, one fruit a year, like this one. It is, uh, now this one is ready. It will be harvested in a very short time. Bananas, they are tasteless. Naturally, they are tasteless. But uh, when you accompany them with the best sauce, you, 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 can, you can taste uh, a, a nice meal. You can accompany the bananas with the ground nuts, um, beans, meat, and whatever. The banana tree has different uses. These leaves, um, we, we, we can use these leaves for weaving uh, mats, like, like, like this one. We cut them when they are raw, we can do it. We get baskets from these banana leaves. When this, they become dry. Like so this. the materials for These making this basket are got from, from the banana this. plant. We, oh. we leave them to dry mm. in, in the sun. It, it takes maybe some, some few days, like two days. We can, we can weave wallets, the, the wallets like these, mm. these ones. We we'll have to, to leave these ones to dry in the sun before, before making hats like this. Yeah. Yeah. The closer you come, the better. The, the other gentleman um, is trying to, to make um, a local football using the, those banana fibers. Yeah. Salawana? Like this. Yeah, like this. So you move this in a pad. Make it a football. We use this one because for it, it is, it is very, very soft. Bananas are in intercropped with the different types of plants. This is the palm tree. From this palm, we, we get the materials for weaving mats, like this one. So these ones are dyed. That gentleman uh, uh, is, is speaking. Yeah. Uh, so for these palm trees, you get these, uh, these uh, leaves when they are still young. Because if you use the, the, the ones which is old, they are, they are very, very hard. They can. So after picking, you must unfold it like this. Unfold it all right away like this. And put in the dry sun. So when they are dry, they will turn to this color. So, uh, so after drying, these are dyed to make different colors. So here we have we have green, uh, we have pink, we have maroon. We can also weave a, a hat like this one. Right. We can also make a bag like this one. And the mat. And the mat. This. So. So this. This is how it is made. So this is the fig tree. The, the scientific name or the botanical name it is called, called Ficus natalesis. This is from which we get uh, baka cloth, baka cloth. That is the traditional dress for the baganda.
long ago before the, the coming of the white men. <laughs> uh, people used it to dress um, uh, in, a, in a back cloth, yeah, in, in, a, in a Buganda we call it uh, Orubugo. That's the, the Rugandan name that it is. Um. They are still worn these days on, on in ceremonies, um, in the palaces. When you visit the, the king's palace, you can find this. What you have to do is to cut all around here. And be, be, before taking it off, you have to remove this skin, the outer skin like this one. I'm not damaging it. I will show you how I can keep it. <laughs> to be like this. So we have to remove all this outer skin. So and afterwards, you fold it like this and then take home. So you go, so you go somewhere, you, you get a mallet and bang it until until it is soft and then put into the into the sun to dry out but before leaving the, the place you have to make sure you protect this to leave grow so that's why they are intercropped with the bananas so you have to get a banana leaf like this you wrap all Around here. So what we want to protect this plant from the dry sun, it will not dry, it will regrow into a, a, another bark just in, in, in one year. So this is the bark cloth when, from the, the fig. So when it is ready, it is like this. You can make so that's lovely. Yeah, very lovely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so go to the beach. The beach. Do you have space? So this is vanilla, an ingredient we put in the in the baking when we are in the cakes. So we, we get it from from this plant. Um, unfortunately, we don't have uh, the fruits which are ready. Well, when it comes down to the ground like this one, we have to, to bury bury it down deep into the soil like this and then it goes up again. So uh, this crop is not here an, ind an indigenous here in Uganda. Uh, it is believed that it originated from Mexico. Um, it is a parasitic plant, whereby it has these very small roots which can't collect water on their own from the soil. That's why we grow it together with this one, because this one contains a lot of water in it. So it can feed directly from this plant even if it is a dry season. Uh, we have this crop. Uh, it is uh, feed to chicken, but here we use it, um, uh, it is called hal halubia. That is the scientific name. So we are here at the project, we use it to get rid of nematodes, which can destroy um, uh, our cabbages um, and other types of green peppers. Uh, then what we do, we take off the leaves, chop chop the these the leaves into smaller smaller pieces, put in a bucket or a plastic container. Then we leave we mix with water and we leave for about seven days, and then we we spray to the crops. Um, 